Again, ladies and gentlemen, very pleasant good evening to all of you. Appreciate everybody coming out and supporting both of these teams. Tonight, the Lady Cats take on the Page Patriots. Again, we're glad everybody's out here. Nice warm weather evening for a fact. At this time, I'd like to introduce the starting lineup for Page. Leading it off, playing second base, number 18, Carissa Fight. Fight at second base. Batting second and playing center field, number 8, Jen Atkinson. Rackison. Atkinson in center field. Batting third. Doing the catching this evening, number 15, Ella Polk. Polk doing the catching. And batting cleanup tonight, the first baseman, number 13, Dolly Platts. Platts at first base. Batting fifth. Playing third base, number 24, Katie Hudgens. Hudgens at third base. And in the circle tonight, for page number 21, Shelby Buffington. Buffington in the circle for Paige. Batting seventh and playing shortstop, number 17, Cameron Fight. Fight at short. Batting eighth. In playing left field, number four, Avery Skiles. Skiles in left field. And your right fielder for this evening, batting ninth, number nine, Olivia Braden. That's your starting lineup for Paige. Never miss your favorite shows again. For an additional $7 a month, along with your digital television service, like to Cloud DVR lets you record up to eight programs at the same time, receive 500 gigabytes of cloud storage, and whole home DVR. Call TUA Customer Service to add light to Cloud DVR to your digital television service today at 455 4515. A senior, Zaylin Spinner. 
at second base, a senior, Mallory Stone. At short, a sophomore, Maddie Gold. At third base, a freshman, Ellie Simpson. And doing the catching, a sophomore, Kylie Oat. And in the circle for the Lady Cats, a sophomore, Alize Griffin. Come home as coached by Mr. Gary Barfield. Whitney Darlington Morris, Erica Duke, Coach Rob, and Allie B. Barfield. Play ball, ladies. Good evening and welcome to East Park. I'm joined tonight with Alan Bean. Um, and we're ready to see another district matchup between the Tullahoma Wildcats and the Page Patriots. Now, Alan, you were at the uh, previous meeting of these two. Uh, what do you expect to see tonight? Runs are at a premium. Runs are at a premium. Uh, Page's pitcher is the best pitcher in the district, Shelby Buffington. We lost the game at there two to one. We had four hits, which came in the eight and nine holes. Uh, she's a commit to North Texas. She's a junior, so you got to play good defense, and any chance you need to score, you better take it. Okay. Now, that was a close matchup, so we just won by lost by one run, I believe. Right. So... We definitely are optimistic about this evening. No, oh, they're they're definitely beatable. I mean, it was a and we lost to them last year in the district uh, tournament, four to three. Uh, lost a close game there to them last year at, at Page. They kind of handed it to us here at home. But uh, so three out of the four have been one run, two run games. So it, it's definitely there. It's just you got to get pa get past the five ten and a half pitcher to throw sixty two. Now you were mentioning that the Lady Cats definitely need to be on their game on offense, which right now they're about to start off on defense. Second baseman, Carissa Fight. Now we have Alize Griffin. Alize's pitching. Pitched a real good game there at Page and has pitched well all season. First pitch, swing and a miss. A little outside corner action. And now that's one thing you definitely, when folks watch the games from last year where Alizé wasn't with the team and then the games that she's with the team, she just brings a dynamic to this right. squad. She's definitely the uh, the uh, the speedster of, of the pitching staff. A good five, six ticks higher than, than anybody else. Looks like a pitch appeared to be low, so we got a 1-1 one, one count. Fouled off to the right. One two pitch coming up. Now this being the second baseman, you'd expect to see some speed out of this young lady should she get on base. You, you would think so. And a little makeshift infield today. We got a little few injuries, so we got a freshman playing third. We've moved Mallory Stone over to second. Oh, coming just a little bit high, nothing bad with that pitch. That's a that's a competitive chase pitch. And it was just, from this vantage point, it looked just marginally high, right. so. One, two pitch, that's good. Hmm, fights it off. So she's battling to stay in there. Yep. Pitcher wants to get the two, two. You don't want to go three, two. Definitely the best weather day of the week. No question there. <laughs> I mean, 80 degrees. What more can you ask for at the beginning of a game? Ground ball to Stone. Makes the throw easy peasy, one down. Fight grounds out to the second baseman. And that's. Mallory fields it cleanly, and now coming to the plate, your center fielder, Jen Atkinson. Now, the Atkinson kid can hit. They only had probably four hits off of us last time. I believe she had one. It was an easy day for the outfielders at Page a couple weeks ago. And gets a generous outside corner on the first pitch, 0-1. A 
If he's calling it, you pitch it. <laughs> I definitely understand <laughs> that. And I think, but I do think it was right there on that corner. It was close. Right back to her. Jose takes care of business herself. Two down. Now, it seemed like she was a little bit in front of that ball. A little bit. They've seen her once, but I mean, it's still, you have to adjust. Step into the box. The catcher, Ella Polk. First pitch. Gets the call, 0-1. You were exponentially better off as a pitcher if you get the first the first pitch as a strike. And that one just barely grazed that outside <laughs> corner. Because I was looking right here over the umps. Foul straight back, 0-2. And this is a pitch like the last time, like the one the last batter. You, you, I, I hate it when catchers, you know, they'll call a pitch that's, that's two, four, five, six balls out. Mm -hmm. Hoping they'll chase. It's just a wasted pitch. So you want to make this competitive, but yet out of the zone. No question there. Alze steps on the rubber, delivers. Out straight back. Oh, she's battling strong. Yep. She was on that pitch. I mean, when it goes straight, pretty much straight back, that means they're. Yeah. Timing's there. Maybe time for a little off speed or a drop ball here. Comes the 2 And that little outside. Yep. Nothing wrong with that, though. That's still that's still a competitive pitch. Oh, yeah. It was just trying to get her to reach out yeah. a little bit. Just trying to, you know, got her in a hole, make her want to go fishing. A little bit low. Makes it 2-2. Two and two. Like I said on the last batter, this, this the two two is where you want to make it happen. You don't want to go three two. And with the number of strikes, because she's already fouled off what two balls. Yeah. Oh, low and out, three two. And then you know with a power pitcher too, it, it's even though it's softball and there's people out there that believe the myth that it's all natural, they can pitch as much as they want to. You you need to keep your pitch count down as much as possible. No question, because we really saw that um, last week in the baseball yeah. game. Oh, I umpired some baseball over the weekend, and the team just they just ended up at the top of the was the top of the last inning. They were the home team, and they actually just came to me and said, "We are out of pitching. Can we quit? Does that make you mad?" And I said, "No, it doesn't make me mad." <laughs> but they literally were out of pitching. The three two. Popped up to left, goed back, Norman in. Norman makes the catch. There we go. And that clears the top of the uh, first. So we'll come back after this brief break with some more Lady Cats softball. Did you know that Tullahoma Utilities Authority has a solar farm right here in Tullahoma? For as little as $4 a month, you can support solar energy production and breathe a little easier, knowing you're taking positive action to reduce your carbon footprint. Call 455-4515. Welcome back to East Park. We're going to lower half out of the first inning, leading it off for the Lady Cats, the catcher, Kylie Hope. Now, Tullahoma's leading off now. What is this young lady's name again? Kylie Holt, sophomore catcher. Lays down the bunt, going to go foul. It's my wife, my wife doesn't actually have any internet. Kylie's battling a little elbow issue, but she's a tough kid. You going to help her out, Chris? You'll put past the Kylie digs in for last time and gets it. Buffington with the pitch. Comes in high. Uh, Buffington is a, uh, you better bring your lunch pail with her. She starts the game around 60-61, and she'll finish the game around 60-61. Got a rise ball, pretty good drop ball. Yeah. 
gets the call on the outside corner, makes it one and two. And here's the pitch, comes in high. Kylie works the count to two and two. As I mentioned pregame, Buffington's a junior. She's a verbal commit to the University of North Texas. So she's going to bring it. Ooh. Strike three called on the outside corner. Tough pitch. Buffington sets her down looking. With one down, come to the plate. Right. One out, and we'll bring, we'll bring the left fielder, Addie Norman, to Addie the plate. Norman. The freshman. Much like Kylie battling an injury herself, had a broken finger in and out of the lineup. And a pitch. Grounded foul over by the past third base. Oh, one one count. Norman digs in. Way high. Evens the count 1-1. One, one. Addy wastes no time back in the box, ready to go. Pitch. High and outside. Two and one. Need to make her work. Can't be overly aggressive, but she generally is around the plate. Oh, there's one in the gap. It's going to drop it on left center. Eddie Norman with a single. All right. Eddie leads it off. It's on base I'm with a single. Now come to the plate, the designated no, player. Brings up another like freshman, Caitlin, Caitlin Gaddis. Gaddis. <laughs> now Gaddis had a great night the last night that we were out here at East Park. Yes, yes. Um, she, just like everybody else, it'll be a reoccurring theme tonight. Battling injury herself, a little elbow pain, some back issues. Hmm, on top, around the top of it, fouled it back. If anybody was watching last week, you know, if you, or two weeks ago, whenever it was, if you get the ball middle in on her and above the knee, it's uh, it could be taking a ride. Oh yes, she had what two out of the parks. Yeah. Stolen base for Addie Norman easily. All right, runner in scoring position now. One one count. Norman's got good speed, so all you need here is, is probably a single. And when you have a pitcher like this, you need to be able to make her think about more than just a batter. No question. Take, Gaddis takes it outside. Two and one. And then two, like we talked about earlier, you got a runner at second with one out. You, you need to get this run in because uh, this girl does not let up many runs. Ground ball. Foul. It's foul. Yep. Yep. I think the only question there was if the third baseman touched it, and she tried to, but she couldn't yeah. get there. And worked out. I was watching that as well. <laughs> worked out well for the Patriots. I say they got lucky on that. Yeah, one. she definitely wanted it. Two and two. It's a big pitch here. Hi, three and two. Now this is you know interesting here because if Gaddis can walk a walk work a walk here, she's not slow herself despite her size. She she's got some decent wheels. She does. Takes it way there high. You go. All right, with one out, runners on first and second, Chris. And and you have Alize coming Taylor up to bat. And with a chance to help herself out, the pitcher. Alize Griffin 
And again, Alize is another one of those young ladies that you know she has some good sprint speed. She's a streaky hitter, and she needs to start a new streak. Oh, right out in front of the plate. There we go. Catcher comes up, throws to first. Mm. That moves the runners up, but we got two outs. Just a little swinging bunt. Alize sacrifices herself on a swinging bunt. And that'll bring to the plate. Every Shortstop, And I'm just going to be honest with you here, Chris, and, and the audience here. I, I'm, I'm probably walking goat. I probably would too, because <laughs> she's had a heck of a season so far. Yes, with two outs, I'm not giving her any. At the very least, I'm giving her nothing to hit. Takes a strike there. That was. Hmm. And who's the next batter we have coming up? Yeah, it should be Raby. Raby. Yeah. And nothing against Aaliyah, but when seasons Maddie's had fouled off to the right, seasons that Goad's had, I, I'm going to walk her. I'm going to make somebody else beat me. Although she has a you know a 2-0 count on her right now, so. 0-2 oh, count. 0-2 oh, count, excuse me. On her right now, so. That's true. Ooh. But that's where you see a D1 commit on the mound, you know. Yeah, that's the perfect pitch right there, 0-2, off speed, and and frankly, Maddie may have went on that pitch. She, she may have caught a break there. Takes it outside. All right, you work back, two and two. And just like Alizé in the first, in the top of the first, this is the pitch that Shelby, that Buffington wants to get her out on. She'll get something to hit here. She did, and she fouled it straight back. And if for you know, it's such a big pitch here because if you go three two, the runners are leaving on the you know they're leaving, they're running. So a hit, it's two runs. Outside and low. Now one thing I will say about Buffington, she seems to be able to get a good spin on it to where the batters just aren't getting a good contact. Yeah, she's not just one of those all speed uh, deals. Changes it up. Smart pitcher. Mm -hmm. Way high then, but look good to Maddie and she wanted it but she couldn't get around. And that's going to bring us up going into the top of the first. Todd 0-0 zero zero. with the page page come up. We'll be back after this light two break. Telehoma Utilities Authority Light Tube Fiber Internet offers true gigabit service to our customers. We pride ourselves on speed, but the backbone of that speed is local tech support, unmatched customer service, and professional service technicians. To sign up, call 455-4515 to gain the reassurance of Light Tube reliability. Welcome back to uh Welcome back to East Park. We have uh, Platts, I think, is up for the Lady Patriots. And Alize starts it off. Ball one. Just a little bit inside there. Nice pitch there. No question. One one pitch. Ooh, gets the inside. Nice. Excellent pitch. One two, you got her right where you want her here. That is one hundred percent true. Cool. Makes it two and two. And the importance here, you want to get this leadoff hitter. The, the, when the leadoff hitter uh, gets on, I mean, the chances of scoring are exponentially higher. Oh, high and out. Full count. It almost looked like Alize was going for a little bit of a rise ball there. Just got outside for her. 
He's got a rise, got a drop, got the curve, screwball. He jammed her there. She gets a piece. Nice catch by the fan. All right, we'll do this again. I don't know if she has a drop curve, but it would be a good time for it. Yeah, she yeah. went. Nice pitch. First one down. Goes down Team swinging. going out there to congratulate right. Alize. First one down, stepping to the plate. Third baseman, Katie Hudgens. Just huge to get the leadoff, the leadoff runner, or leadoff batter out. And we have Hudgens taking the plate for the Patriots. Foul it, hit her in the box. Alze gets ahead here. And that was a strong chop right there. I mean, we got two really good pitchers here, but we have seen some, some decent contact. They seem to be on the ball, but to the both pitchers' credit, they've gotten out of some the, mess, the, the mess they created. And, uh, well, particularly Buffington. Oh, for sure. You have yeah. runners on second and third. <laughs> good pitch. The inside corner looks to be, a <coughs> looks to be uh, given by the umpire today, so live there. Especially when they've given you a one-two count. Yeah. One-two. Swing and a miss. And there you go. Just waved at that because that ball was. That was way out. Three balls out at least. Hudgens goes down swinging. Two down. Now two down. It was definitely in the first pitcher, third of the batter Shelby box. Buffington. Yes. Buffington, more known for her pitching, but uh, you leave one out there, she can. She can put it over in the in the disc golf course. Yeah, good power. Got a good swing. I mean, she's probably got a year and a half left of batting in college. She'll probably never see the box. But, but at her age, already signing to a D1 program, Tells you all you need to know. Exactly. <laughs> she definitely can get a hold of a ball. Yes. And just because I said she wouldn't bat in college, that's not a knock. Because very few pitchers bat at the next level. Now's it off to the right again. A little bit behind. The interesting pitch call here because she is behind, but yet she's seen, she's seen the, basically the same pitch twice. And this is where you have two contacts the same way. You almost have to mix it up. Yeah. So that's foul ball in the box. Yeah, you have to you have to mix it up because you know it's like you know, no matter how fast they are after at least one time through the word, they're going to time you up, and they can even do it in that bad if you, if they see the same speed three times in the same location. The 0 2. Fouls it off again. All to the right side. Might want to try to bust her in inside, maybe half a ball in with a, with a fastball. Alze delivers. That's a shot down the right field. Bounces before Norman can get to it for a single. Right. Two out hit. Curtis Buffington Center, number 10 coming in for Buffington. Now coming to the plate. Shortstop Cameron Fight. So we have Fight coming to the plate for the Patriots. Buffington's on first for the Patriots. Liner Stone has it. Easy there we easy. go. 
and that's what you want to see happen. Yeah. Well, in the bottom of the second, we have zero zero game. Come back with the Lady Cats at bat after this light tube break. Welcome back to East Park where we go into the bottom of the second with Leah Raby leading it off for the Lady Cats. Alan, how has how uh, Miss Raby been doing this year? Leah's got uh, a swing and miss on the first pitch. And Leah's another one of the sophomores that we have. Uh, good power, got good speed, plays a good center field. Uh, as people commented, not the most conventional batting stance, but you know what, it works for her, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And right on cue, lines one. Oh, oh. nice little catch there by the left or right fielder, excuse me. Well, she got she got it on the barrel, might be a little off the end, but Aaliyah flies out to it, it just had a little bit too much hang time. Yep. Yeah. And, and a real good jump by the, the right fielder. She didn't have to go far, but she broke the right way. And, You're yep. Right fielder, Reagan Norman. So we have one of the Reagan of the sisters, Norman, out there, right fielder. It's the senior of the two. Sister's a freshman. Reagan's got some pop. Single to right. Right there. Right on cue. And if folks are paying attention, we don't have Katie Bean over there in the left field tonight. We have the younger of the Norman sisters because they have Katie as a relief. I'm sorry. One of our four seniors, Ma Ma uh, Mallory Stone, neighbor of mine. And second baseman, correct? Yes, playing second tonight. She's played a little bit everywhere this year. Fouls out, tries to bunt. I believe the last time we were on the air, she played short thir third. Third, okay. And she's played left, and now she's at second. And that's one thing where Coach Bar Barfield is very lucky. He has a bunch of players that are very proficient at multiple positions. Well, you, you have to be because you have injuries, you have different situations, and uh, you have to be <clears> – <throat> I mean, certain players can only play certain positions. I mean, but you try to have the more – the most versatile players you can, the most number. And that's what we have a uh, time out on the field with an injury to uh, the catcher for Paige. Um, seems like she might have caught the bat a little bit when it was coming around. So. Either that or the ball bounced back and got her right hand. That's what she seems to be yeah, flex flexing. It got her right hand, no mm. question. She's going to tough it out. And they're getting ready to test it out, get a throw or two in. Well, if you're not tough, then uh, don't apply to be a catcher. Uh, you're going to get hit. You're going to get beat up. It's just the name of the game down there. Yeah. yeah everything seems to be well. I mean, there's a reason why Tallahoma had a ca catcher whose nickname was Tank. Yes. <laughs> oh, one bunt by Mallory. Buffin fills it, throws it over. We advance the runner. Stone does her job. Brings, it, brings up Miss Spinner, Zaylin Spinner, another senior, playing first base tonight. Mallory sacrifices the And Zaylin's another one of those young women that you'll see in multiple places all across the field. You'll see her at the pitcher's mound. You'll see her what it, third. Third. Takes one outside. Yeah, over the years through middle school and travel and uh, I've seen her play just about everywhere but catcher. Good hitter, typically line drive. Won't see many homers out of her because she is a line drive hitter. Takes that outside, 2-0. Good contact hitter. 
and that's the thing. I think that's probably why Buffington's kind of leading her out a little mm -hmm. bit. Is she knows mm -hmm. it's not she's not an out of the park hitter, but she's mm -hmm. a placement hitter. Well, and Buffington knows her because the two of them and Katie all played on the same travel team a few years ago, and then a couple of years now in high school. And that's what folks don't think of that a lot of times in these. Uh, Specifically softball, a lot of these young women have played travel ball together. Oh, no question. A 2 1. Ooh, you swung over that one. Makes it 2 and 2. Yo, you definitely, you got to. In some games, you have four, five, six, seven of them that have played together or against each other numerous times through the spring and summer or even fall. Way out. Wanted to try to get her to fish, but. That's what she's been trying to get Kaylin to reach out there a little yeah. bit. This whole at bat, and and Zaylin did. She's she bit one time. Yeah, yeah. Three two. Low and out. Waved. She did well. That's going to take us out of the third. At tie, still tied zero zero. Hello. And we're going to go out for a light two. Sports break. Lag hurting your gaming. Is a weak signal stalling your social media posts? Are constant updates slowing down your productivity? TUA LightTube has a solution. Enroll in our mesh router service starting at $9.95 a month. With the ability to cover your home with increased signal strength, you can increase productivity and whole home happiness. Start winning today by calling TUA LightTube customer service at 455 45 the top of the third inning. Leaving it off for a page. The left fielder, Avery Skiles. Welcome back to East Park. We're going in, starting the top of the third with uh, Skiles taking the plate for Paige. Alze puts that one just a little bit outside, but over the right corner of the plate. She's getting ahead of the hitters, which is key. You can you, you get ahead, then you can pitch. You make them hit what you want them to hit. And that's key right there. Well, she put the first one on the outside corner. That ball was out, but it's now the, the batter's defensive. Takes a wave. And you saw that with Spinner. Exactly, same she thing. She started working a little bit, trying too hard to reach out and get those balls. Mm. Right there, first one on the corner. The next two were in the other batter's box, but they, she swung and waved and waved and missed. And Alzay down. sits her down on three pitches. With one down, step into the plate, right fielder, Olivia Braden. Have Olivia Braden taking the plate for the Lady Patriots. So far, the game's living up to billing. I mean, hits and runs are going to be hard to come by. Hobbied up. Holt. Holt's got it. Out. Barely had to move. No, she basically just had to stand <laughs> up. <Yeah. laughs> Kylie. Finds that one up in the air, comes down with a second out. And we go back to the top of the order, now batting your second baseman, Carissa Fight. Now we have Fight. Now we're back to the top of the order here now, aren't we? Yeah, she grounded out to the second her first time. <coughs> Ooh, she just kind of lobbed that yeah, one across. Yeah. She'll call it a change up, but. Well, so will we. 1 0. I think we all saw how that release went. Yeah. But I, I don't blame the batter for even trying to get a piece of that because it was just so wobbly. Comes back inside with a fastball. Swing and a miss. A good pitch call there. You, you, you throw the Ephus by accident and then come back with a little inside heat. Bunt foul. That's going to bring up a one-two count. Yeah, you would think that would take the bunt out of the equation. Nice one-two three inning here would be nice. It would definitely be good for Alize to get her some more some rest coming up for these later innings. Yeah. There we go. There we go. 
Right on cue. Well, three up, three down. Uh, still 0-0 zero, zero as we head into a light two sports break. We played into our mission when we separated from our parent company and became an employee stock ownership program. Uh, we had to be disconnected from a large network and exist on our own. We needed relatively high speed connectivity, which we got at about a 200% discount uh, with like two. Businesses can get beyond what most businesses uh, in the country can get from like two uh, as far as. Uh, Welcome back to East Park as we go into the bottom of the third. Lady Cats. Tallahoma's back to the start of the lineup with Kaylee Holt. And, uh, well, it's our laid off hitter, and that's the way you want it. Oh, yeah. And these young ladies, there's a good vibe in that dugout tonight. A little energy. And that's what you like to see in a district matchup. Kelly swings and misses. Well, this is a, this is a huge game that we talked about off air. It's we both lost to Lincoln County. We Tallahoma has lost to Page already. I mean, if you have any hopes of being the winning the district, this is this is a must game. Mm. Takes that one outside. Strike two. She's in a hole. Not to fight back. Very true. If you lose this game, that's two. That's two to two page. That makes it three because you lose a tiebreaker. Correct. And you need to finish second to get in the regionals. Outside. We'll high and out. <coughs> nice. Take a slap at it, running bunt. Comes up empty. One out. That was one down, coming to the plate. Left fielder. Devil out. Addie Norman. So we have Addie Norman coming to the plate right now, freshman. Addie had a hit last game, last in, uh, first inning. Takes high. This young lady definitely has good eyes. She plays a lot of a lot of ball. Wow. And I think Buffing is trying to Buffington must know that because she's throwing these balls real mm -hmm. close. That one was a little farther yeah. out, but Well the game plan's definitely at least we hope it's by design is definitely out. They're pitching out. Yeah. They want them to chase that ball. Yeah. Something a little low. All right, 3 0 count. And I would say this is a bit uncharacteristic of Buffington. Yeah, she's uh, fishing a little more than I normally see her. There we go. Pretty good pitch, but it's called a ball. We'll take it. Four pitch walk. I don't think it brushed that. At least from my vantage mm. point, it didn't look like it brushed the front left Eddie corner. Gets issued a free pass. So it just completely. With one down, coming to the plate. Bring up the freshman, Designated Caitlin player, Gaddis. Caitlin Gaddis. Nice shot in the trees here would be nice. Grounds it off to the right, foul. And you can definitely tell this young lady she was she was swinging for those trees. No, she's not afraid. <laughs> she gets her hacks in. It's high. Norman off on the pitch, and the lucky base steal. Yeah. Because that's the type of ba type of play where you're just like. <gasps> yes, and that's a that's a pitch that that's easy for the catcher to handle. Second baseman come, didn't come up with it, but I think she probably had it anyway. Norman's got real good speed. Oh, she does. Both of those sisters do. Yeah, they both can. They both can run. Inside. Yeah. Two one. And probably would be a three three zero had she not swung at that one. Yes. 
Buffington definitely, I mean, she's obviously, there's no score. She's still doing a great job. Is it a little off? 3 1. Yep. So, I know the, the game at Page and then the district game last year, she was uh, spot on. A weak little grounder off to the right. Foul. Is it 3 2? That's one thing. You don't see Gaddis get rattled too much by a 3-2 count, though. No, he's got a lot of composure for a freshman. Takes low. All right, with one out, runners on first and second. Another chance for the, for the Lady Cats. Especially with Griffin coming up here. And I mean, because you can only walk so many batters. True. Alize Griffin. Now, Alize is a little bit more aggressive than Gaddis is. I mean, you have to, you have to pitch to her because Goad's on deck. Right. And, and Alize can make you pay. Right up to second base. Flips over to short. Cannot turn two. Norman Never comes come in. in, never stops running. Aggressive base running by Coach Barfield there. Ground ball to second, and Norman scores from se from second. Hey, and you sacrifice a player with a run. We'll get a courtesy runner here to be freshman Maggie Lynch running for Griffin. And Maggie can move. Yes. They're shortstop, Maddie. Go. Freshman, or really for any any age, she's a smart base runner as well. She knows what she's doing. Very, very true. Here comes our home resident home run king, queen, excuse me, Maddie Goad. Nonetheless, it's royalty yes. in the box right yes, now. Yes, I believe she's got six. That's Maggie, right? Yes. Maggie Lynch is your courtesy runner. There we go. Ground ball to short. She, no, she's going to go to first. I think she beat it, didn't she? Yes, did. she did. I definitely, I probably would have gone to second on that uh, myself. Yes. Second baseman was there. That's the play. Maddie legs out in the field. Keep him out of scoring position uh, and, and a forced out. Yeah, it's an easier play. And Goad's got really good speed. Aliyah Raby. There's Raby up the center fielder. And we talked about before, she's got some pop in her bat. She could break this thing wide open here. There we go. Ball to she's, short. They're going to yeah. get it. Yep. But that's going to close out the bottom of the third. Cats lead this 1 0. So we're going to take a light two sports break, come back, and go to the top of the fourth. Never miss your favorite shows again. For an additional $7 a month, along with your digital television service, Light to Cloud DVR lets you record up to eight programs at the same time, receive 500 gigabytes of cloud storage, and whole home DVR. Call TUA customer service to add Light to Cloud DVR to your digital television service today at 455-4515. They get out for Paige, center fielder, Jen Atkinson. So we have Atkinson leading off for the Lady Patriots as we go into the top of the fourth with the Lady Cats leading 1-0. Jammed her on the inside, foul off to third. Beginning here, we'll see how Jose pitches with the lead now. Now you said Atkinson is a, well of course she would be with the cleanup batter for Paige, so she's definitely a threat. Oh, she's got some pop in her bat. She takes that one a little low and in. Yeah, one, I, one. I think yeah, they were trying to cheat that one a little bit yeah, on the inside. Yeah. And if her dad was, he's not here today, unfortunately, but he would tell you she kind of pushed that ball. A little, little bit of lift on that one. Yeah. 
Brings up a 2-1 count. Yeah, that one caught too much of the other chalk. It definitely did. So what she's got here for a little change up. Had her way out in front. Barely caught a little piece of the ball. Just enough. Fouled it off. Well, it brings it up to a 2-2 count. Sounds like the page uh, stands over here. Looking a little impatient. A little bit. <laughs> uh, after that change up, I, I'm just old school. I'm coming back here with a fastball in. Or out, doesn't matter. But the end's been working for yeah. her all night. Yeah. Oh, she went out. Yeah. And that probably was how I say. She's like, oh, she thinks I'm going to go in. I'm going to take yeah. it out. Pitching it, it's a cat and mouse game. But if you got the stuff, you have to use it. Ooh, there we are. A little hot cheese. That's Alize a, sets her down. That definitely was a little bit of a rise ball there. Yeah. And you, With one down, coming to the plate, the catcher, Ella Polk. Once again, we talked about getting the leadoff hitter all out and the cleanup batter. Now we're caught up with the catcher, Polk, who injured her hand the last time she was in the field, so. Out. Ooh. You take that one. 100% <laughs> will take that one. Yeah, that ball was a ball and a half out. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was about to press the B button, and uh, when I heard the, the blue call of the father son Miller officiating mm -hmm. squad, didn't get that one. That's all right. One one. As I've told my daughter, pitches and I've umpired forever. If, if you notice, we were in the game last year in, in Lewisburg, where I knew the guy behind the plate from the get go. Of course, we were the visitors, so we batted first. He was mid chin was a strike. Katie was was pitching. I said, "You seen where it's at? He, if he's calling that, you pitch it there. It's as simple as that." Oh yeah. Oh, she launched right? that ball up. It's a stone. There we back. go. Just a little over the head, over the shoulder catch. Just got under it. But that, that's that's nice textbook right there. Now, there. If they pop him up and he gets hang time, you catch yeah, it. With two down, coming to the plate, first baseman Dolly Platts. I think Alize is just being a sophomore. She's learning too. You don't strike everybody out. Let your let your fielders do the job. If you can get out of an inning with five pitches and no strikeouts, that, so what? Oh, took that a little high. You definitely don't want to be like the Eagleville girl the other night pitching 202 or 188, depending on which count you believe. But either way, 188 either, pitchers e is still. Either way, it's asinine. The change has been a little tricky tonight. The delivery is a little bit off. It is. The arms behind the legs, and, and that's always going to mean the ball's going to release high. But, you know, you showed her something different, so 2-0 pitch here. Nice pitch. Beautiful. I like how Alize said, oh, you're going to bunt. I'll just throw it straight at your bat. Yep. Well, there's an old Sandy Koufax line. He said, I learned to be a pitcher when I stopped making them strike out and start, started making them hit the ball. That's down the line and fair. Norman over to get it. She's going to two. And she's out easily. Yeah. Out. <laughs> nice. And that's going to bring us to the bottom of the fourth with a beautiful play. Yes, that was beautiful. Uh, Norman come up through it. Stone hit the re hit stone on the relay and then easy out a second. Well, we'll be back after this light two sports break. Welcome back to East Park. We're coming up here to the bottom of the fourth. We're going to the lower half of the 
fourth. Let me tell about that play, Chris, that last play there. I mean, I don't blame the issue if the coach sent her the second. I don't blame him. Two outs, you're trying to you're trying to get anything possible. Maybe you don't do it with one out or no outs, but two outs, you take a chance. Exactly. Yeah. And that I would have done the same thing as a coach. Right. Norman nice in the shot. gap. It's going to get to the fence. Easy She's two. Get two. Yeah, it's gonna pulls up with an easy double. Tahoma starting off strong. And Reagan leads it Reagan off with a Winds up with a stand up double. It's time to get her body armor off. And that's nice to see, you know, they got a you know 1-0 lead, a little bit of pep in their step over there in the dugout. Yep. And you know this comes up. You know, Mallory, Mallory bunted last time at sacrifice bunt. Not known historically to be a great bunter, but it, I bunt her here. You move that runner over third with one out, that gives you a possibility on a pass ball, you know, a, a, a ground ball. We'll see what Coach B has in mind. There you go. She bunts. Gets over the first baseman's head. Norman is going to be out. Out. She had to hold up because it was in the air. Probably looking back on it, should have stayed. But, oh, well. But that's one of those gambles, you know. Well, it's a nice awareness by the first baseman, too. She, and when she did recover and get the ball. Immediately. One down, she knew that yeah. Stone was already past her. Yeah, did no play at first. She turned around, gunned it to third, and fairly easy play. And it was one of those, it's not like she was well in front of right. Norman. She was at the same time yeah. as Norman was coming in, she was coming in with her glove. Mm -hmm. So it could have easily gone either direction. Right. Well, they were Bunning and fouled one off. Catcher took yet another one. I can recommend to her parents uh, ibuprofen with a mix of Tylenol and some deep blue. No question. <laughs> but this one didn't seem to affect her quite as bad as that last one did. No. But as an umpire, you do the right thing. You take a little extra time, dust the plate off, walk around. Especially in a night like this when it's just gorgeous weather and you don't mind being out here. Correct. It, Ooh, sorry. Really? Sorry, I took one there that was uh, questionable, but inside and maybe a little low. But wings up 02. I was a betting man, I would say something outside here. Make a reach. Yep. Yep, yep. Does everyone get a piece of it? It is nice to be out here not wearing a, <coughs> a parka or a heavy jacket. Because it was rather chilly the last game we did it, together. It, it got that way. <laughs> Foul straight back. Zaylin's hanging tough. She is. And she's uh, clenching that left hand a little bit. She's got a palm injury. She took a line drive right off the palm a couple of, a couple of three games ago. So, Was that not the Spring Hill game? It may have been. Uh, I remember that because yeah. you heard it hit that glove. Yeah, it was actually it was. She was playing third. Takes it high, a little high and out. All right, one two. This is a so far a five pitch at bat. Or it might not have been because I forget. I well, when I'm covering I, yeah. soccer, I walk over here and I'll watch games. So I remember hearing the. I remember hearing it hit her. Yeah, you know it was a different game because she was playing third and, and she did, she played first against Spring Hill the whole game. Mallory dives back in with a 2-2 count. I've known Mallory a long time. Base, run, base stealing is not her thing. Round ball, foul. foul. But she's battling. Yep. She's up to what, six or seven pitches here? Seven. Digs in, buffing and ready. Ooh, right on the outside. She's been living there. 
Now that's going to bring Holt back up to bat, so we're back at the top of the lineup. Now it's two down. And we're at first. Stay with the plate, the catcher, Kylie Holt. Holt's had a tough night to play. It struck out looking, struck out swinging. Takes this one outside, but we'll, we'll forget about all that if she doubles one here in the gap. Yep. It's just right there. Here it is. Hit it if you can. Nothing sneaky about that pitch. And Holt was way behind it. Yeah. Waved at that uh, outside. On the outside. Yep. But that's one thing Buffin has been good at is getting the, the lady cats to bite when they're outside. Yeah, in and out, in and out. Foul back. Possibly got a car if somebody was dumb enough to park on the front row, which I do not. Two pitch. <clears throat> Ground ball foul. Foul off several over there. Third baseman, she's getting her steps in. That is true. It's one thing, Coach B. I was watching the Lady Cats before the game, and he had them just working there in the batting area mm -hmm. before this game. Mm -hmm. Wave way outside, wave missed. <clears throat> well, that's going to bring us to the uh, bottom of the fifth. So we'll be back after this light Let's tube go, sports break. Did you know that Tullahoma Utilities Authority has a solar farm right here in Tullahoma? For as little as $4 a month, you can support solar energy production and breathe a little easier, knowing you're taking positive action to reduce your carbon footprint. Call 455-4515. Today. Leading off the fifth for Patriots, third baseman, Katie Hudgens. All right, Chris, top of the fifth. There we are. We have Katie Hudgens coming in for the Lady Patriots. One ball foul. Over by first. Spinner's got it. Once again, this is, I don't know exactly how many batters, but uh, this is the majority she has gotten ahead on. She's got the first pitch in for a strike, which is huge. Alize definitely seems to be controlling this game. One of them grounded off the first. Yeah, there's some games that she struggles a little bit. She wants to get maybe a little uh, picky. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll get that pitch count up, but this, today is not that day. Well, I get the idea that, you know, she got on the game plan with Coach B is, you know, go out there with Swagger and put him down. Yep. Ground ball to Stone. Dive and catch. Can't come, but can't bobble it as she was getting up the throw. That is the problem when you're flat on your belly. Yeah. <laughs> yep. She had to go to her, to her left there. and Hudgens gets on. He had the infield hit, and that brings to the plate the pitcher, Shelby Buffington. Now this is a dangerous spot here because this girl can this girl can take it for a ride. <laughs> Snap through, back easily. I was going to say before that swing and miss, Buffington's hard to strike out. You really hope for a pop up here, something. Innocent, easy. But if you can strike her out, you strike her out. A bunt, foul. 
Now that right there, Chris, shows you the importance in, in the runs. It's a one-run game, obviously. You don't have to be Colombo to figure it out in the fifth inning, but when you have one of your better hitters, Bunning, with nobody out, can run at first. That's That shows you right there. You're just trying to get a run across mm -hmm. any way you can. And that you probably have someone who can hit it maybe a little bit stronger coming up. Yeah. Thought about it. <laughs> the look on her face there was like. Well, I think Alizé was trying to give her a little taste of her own medicine to get her to reach outside. Yeah. Well, the look on Shelby's face there was like, ouch. There we go. Oh, go. Oh. oh. Filled it, then kicked it. Run a reach third. We got first and third. It's going to be an E on the shortstop. She came up with it clean and then took a step and kicked it. And with no outs, runners at one and thir thir Bucking first and third. Base. Now with runners on the corners coming to the plate, the shortstop, Cameron Fight. Now we're going to play, Coach B's going to play corners in here. We'll play for the double play in the middle. And put playing for the runner on the corners. Nice pitch. Ellie Simpson's way up at third. She's backed up a little bit. Well, did she uh, bunt the last time at bat? She flew out to second. Flew out to second. There's the bunt there. And that you can bring up an 0-2 count. That's one she probably wants back there. That ball's inside. That's an that's a incredibly hard pitch to, to get the bat out and bunt particularly at 57, 58 miles an hour. 0-2 oh, count, strikeout would be huge here because then you got the luxury of playing everybody back looking for the double play. Way inside. But I think that might have been Alizé saying, hey, back up. Yeah, or setting up this next pitch, which may be on the outer half, which has been called a strike several times. It has. Very consistent. And, uh, no, I'm not arguing about a no. strike zone. It, he, it has not changed no. all night. Nope. They get up. Yep. Foul that back. And that's exactly what she did. She pulled it out and made her step for it. Yep. So now you got the luxury here. You can you can do that. You can go back out again, or you can come back and jam her back in again. It's on the on the O2 pitch. Or you can do have her swing. You can do C, just throw gas down the middle, and uh, she can't catch up to it. Alize comes up with a big strikeout. With one down, stepping to the plate, left fielder Avery Skiles. Well, Coach B calling out, going out, calling time here. A little strategy. That's what it seems like. And also, more importantly, getting Alize a bit of a break. Yeah. Because she's had to throw some gas with these. With Buffington. Well, yeah, first and third, one out. You're still in pretty good hitters in their lineup. We're getting to the bottom now, but this is big. Obviously, it's always big when you're only at one, one to nothing, but you, you, you don't want to face their, their four, five, or three, four, and five again if you can help it. Skiles now batting. Corners are staying relatively in. Middle's back. Showing bunt, pulls back, runner takes it. Uncontested second base. And there we're seeing this chess game come alive. Yeah, I was wondering, actually, I didn't say it, so, but why they didn't do that, the last batter. <laughs> because 99 times of 100, that's, that's, a, that's a freebie. With the runner on third. 2-0. So this really is the batter of the game here. You, you, 
And you're all about willing to sacrifice her to get that yeah. run across. Swing and a miss. Well, the up thing, uh, the, the good thing is for Teloma here, Buffington, while a tremendous player, is not blessed with great speed. So uh, a routine ground ball, you look her back, or if she breaks, you should be able to get her, even, even a ground ball on the right side. And they put a courtesy runner in for her the last time. I don't know why they didn't. Yeah. She did leave the bat out there. Yeah. That was 100% a strike. Yeah. She didn't even try to pull it. I'm telling you, by rule, they have to make an effort with that bat on, like on a bunt. But I'm just telling you, if your bat's out there, it's a strike. Two and two. Big pitch. Comes in yeah. high. Bring up a full count. All right. Obviously, here, you, you know, you want to, you want to strike out, but you, don't, you you've got an open base. You could set up a force. You don't want to give her anything. You just don't want to throw a pitch just to throw a strike here. Not necessarily wrong with a walk. Swing and a miss. Yes. Oh, she fouled. Excuse me. I didn't, it almost didn't seem like she took, kept no, hold I, of that <laughs> one. But Holt had to chase it, and the runner didn't come. So and The runner didn't advance the first on it, so she definitely got a piece of it. But she did go golfing. And much like me, she missed, almost missed the ball. There we go. And ball to third. Out. Got her at first with a run scores. That's going to bring up a tie ball game. Yeah. Ellie, Ellie Simpson over third looked home, but probably made the right decision. I know I did hear some people yelling four from the Teloma side. I don't know if it came from the dugout or not. But that would have been a tough play. And then that sets up first and third with one out. So she probably did the right thing. Fouled it off her foot. I don't know if there's people watching that may disagree. We may have had to play at the plate, but it would have been extremely close. Bunt foul. So that's going to bring up an 0-2 count. And that takes that part of it out. I mean, it's not unheard of, but on two strikes, but uh, it's not preferred. Not unless you see an infield that's just being very lazy. And a very good bunter, too, because right. you've got to get it fair. Couldn't get her to bot on that. Exactly, Mr. Chester here, our PA announcer, made a good point. This is a nine-hole hitter. Don't you don't have to play around here. She's in, she's in the nine-hole for a reason. Popped to up right. Oh, oh, nice little catch by Reagan Norman out in right field. Nice job. Well, that's going to take us into the bottom of the fifth. Fly ball to end the inning. With a tied game 1-1. One, one. Lady Cats will be on offense when we come back. Telehoma Utilities Authority Light Tube Fiber Internet offers true gigabit service to our customers. We pride ourselves on speed, but the backbone of that speed is local tech support unmatched customer service, and professional service technicians. To sign up, call 455-4515 to gain the reassurance of light tube reliability. Welcome back to the bottom of the fifth. We moved down. We're Keep here with the Lady Cats. Leading it off for the Lady Cats, left fielder, Addie Norman. Addie Norman starting off. There we go. 
And we're going to have a foul out. Bringing up a 1-1 count on Norman. Addie's had a good game. She has. So we're a good player. Like I mentioned last time, plays a lot of tribal ball, so she plays tons of games. Ooh. I hate to say it, that that swing was about as lazy as Buffington's throw was. <laughs> All right, rethink it here. Regroup, one, two. There we go with a foul. Fouled it off. And I jokingly say that because this is the first 80-degree day of the year. Yes. <laughs> and a massive change from what we've had. Oh, yeah, it's just a shock to the system. but I'll take it. Very true. Bring it up a 2-2 two -two count. <laughs> Outside. Yeah. Bring up a 3-2 count. We've said that a lot today. Yes. All right, important about here. I mean, this is an important pitch. 3-2, leadoff hitter, 1-1 one, one game. We got three more shots at this girl. Hopefully, only we only need two. Foul. Was it foul? I was hoping number 24 over there was going to get in and just get a piece of it right <laughs> before it went out. So It's not for a lack of effort. No. She just doesn't have, didn't have speed to get to it. But the young lady has a glove like glue. She's just not quick mm -hmm. about it. Right back up there. the middle where it came from. There we go. First base. Eddie Norman having a day. Three for three. Eddie gets herself a base knock. And then that's going to bring up Gaddis. Yep. Been on base three times tonight. Oh, and oh, stepping to the plate. Lot. The designated player, Caitlin Gaddis. No big. And Caitlin, I mean, she's had a great year so far. Mm -hmm. Good night tonight. I mean, mm hmm. Ooh, Ooh, another one back up the middle off Buffington's glove. They'll. St Ooh, and what a play. What a heads up running Safe. there. So we got runners on first and second. And I hope Buffington's yeah. okay. I mean,. Yeah. She is the opposing pitcher, but we never want to see no, a no, player no, out there. No. And that, that ball was, uh, was hit pretty hard up right back at her. But she did a smart thing. She put her glo her glove in front of her hand. Yes. But had some, gets some speed offense. there by Norman. Beat that ball out because it ricocheted well, right to the shortstop and went over. And she beat it out by a, pitcher, a, a, a hair. The sheer speed. It shows the speed yeah. of Addy. Alize, inside. inside pitch on Alize, and this is and, and it's time for Alize to come alive here and, and do what we know what she does she can do and then she's done. Oh, she's oh, going yeah, for yeah. it. Just a little behind that one, fouled it off to the right. Into the ravine. But that ravine has done wonders for the drainage on this field. Yes. It's not the swamp that it has been. No, that and a few tons of sand has done great things for our outfield here. Whoa. Ooh. Way in. She's going for those knees, I think. Yeah. How's that? Did a little two-step. All right, 2-1. Two, one. Outside. Way out. Way out. All right, three one here. You, this is what your coach is telling you, your dad's telling you, your mom's telling you. It's got to be right where you want it. Two more times. Or round ball to short. She fumbled it, and it hit the runner. Yep, it did yep, hit the runner. Sure did. Hit Norman going from second to third. It's an automatic out. It scored a single for Alize, but. Same situation, first and second and one out. But Actually, I thought that the uh, shortstop, she tripped over the shortstop. Got the, by the ball. 
the ball hit her, I believe, in the foot, and that changed the direction. You know, the shortstop yeah. went to her right, then it, it changed direction, came back to the left. And the shortstop, And if you're scoring at home, Alize gets a single out of that. We do lose this some speed at second. Well, a lot of speed. 1 0 is way out. But that's okay. You got one out. You got Goad up at the plate. Blue, yeah. Looking for her first hit. Yeah. She was on that pitch. Now straight back. This will be a good time to show some of that Goad magic. I'm kind of in the same boat as with the last time she's up. I'm, I'm not giving her anything to hit. No. Nope. If I walk her, I walk her. Mm. Oh. But if I can get her to bite on some junk, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, if she's going to swing at that, throw it again. All right, clear your head, kid. Make the adjustment. And I think, you know, Maddie's just looking at yeah. what the scoreboard says and that Ooh. exactly what just happened. Yeah, way high there. Two out. With two down, runs at first and second, coming to play, center fielder, Aliyah Raby. No, nothing says that nobody said that Raby can't be the hero tonight. And she was a couple innings ago. Well, I think her last at bat, she flew it out to right field and it was caught. Yeah. Takes ball one outside. I'm not sure what Buffington's pitch count is, but it's, it's starting to get up there. Lots of 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two pitch counts. I heard a 2-1 out there a moment ago. Now, I don't know if that was coach or stands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. I do not think I would have swung at that. No, it's it's a, it's a ball, and it's it's actually pretty much worked. It's it's it was farther out than the, the previous pitch. It was called a ball. <coughs> mm -hmm. Fouled off to the right, and she's reaching out for him a little bit. I, she'd already be on base if she'd have just hung onto her bat a couple of these yeah, pitches. Yeah. Easier said than done, but very true. And it's. The ball looks good. It's just tailing out. Been that way the whole game. And challenged her with some hot cheese. That's it. Well, that's going to take us to the uh, top of the six. We'll be back with uh, the Lady Patriots taking over on offense. And this will be a light tube sports break. Going to bring us the to the top of the sixth. Leading off, second baseman Carissa Fight. With Fight on in the box. Well, if you watched the Lady Cats over the last couple of years, this is the, let's see, fifth game with them, and four out of five of them have been just like this. A little high. Mm, let me keep this little. Little streak going of getting the leadoff hitter out. Most things she's managed that. There we go. Foul off the right. That was she was going for that little bit of inside. That fight is fully aware that's been called a strike all night long. Yes, it's been a the umpire's been a pitcher's umpire, and there's nothing wrong with that. And because it's benefited both Buffington and oh, no question. Griffin. No so. question. Bunt right back to Alize. Mallory's late and off the bag at first. Safe. Yep. 
When you first bail on a bunt, your first baseman crashed. The second baseman's got to be there. And Mallory was a couple of steps slow getting there. And, and your first baseman was blocking the throw a little bit. Yeah. Get yourself on base. Now coming to the plate, center fielder, Jen Atkinson. Now Atkinson is sitting there in the four spot. Unless she's a cleanup hitter, I still run this girl. Popped up, straight up. Goad's got it under it. Easy. Yep. Big out. Big, big out. Atkinson pops it up on the infield. For the first out, now coming to the plate, the catcher, Ella Polk. So Ella Polk coming to the plate. That young one, she's been good behind the plate all night for the oh, Patriots. she's been very good. And tough, too. Yeah, it's been... Overall, well-played game. We've had a couple of mistakes, but... Oof. It's a tough day to be a hitter. That, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be having to try to swing at that. No, you, that's that's uh, that's a tough pitch to hit. No matter what color that jersey is down here, I wouldn't no, want to have to swing at that. No. Up, there Ooh, we right go. Field, Norman's under it. Got, Got it. it. And thought about throwing the first, but... Runner slid back in. Reagan fields that one cleanly. And two out. Nice little liner with two down coming to the plate. First baseman, Dolly Flats. On the side note there, how many girls do you know named Dolly this day and age? This is true. <laughs> you know some of those names, you don't see a lot of Dollies, you don't see a lot of Bettys anymore. Nope. Actually, I live over by Tell them a funeral home, and I, I know when somebody of a certain age has passed when it's Ethel, Betty, Hubert. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Almost guaranteed, guaranteed to be somebody in their 70s or 80s. Or 90s. Or 90s. And that's okay. I, if, if I'm 90 and die and they say Alan's an old name, I, you know, I'm good. I had a good run. I'm swinging a miss. She was Snap way throw. behind that ball. Yes, she was. Okay. And just running that, reminding that first baseman, we have some power to get the ball where we need it. Yes. Kylie's not afraid to make that throw. And that's the thing. She, she under, a lot of players underestimate her because of her size. And her being left-handed as a catcher, which is rare. A little waste pitch there. Is it one, two? But with a right-handed hitter, uh, that that throw, that snap throw to first for a left-hander is easy. No, oh, very. Oh, Ooh, bounce that one. And we're gonna have a runner on second. Yep. We'll go down as a wild pitch. Doesn't really change thing here, Chris. It's two-two. Just. You've got to get this girl out. It does? Because she was going to be running on the pitch anyway, so anything hard hit would have scored her. She was on that pitch. And that's what Alizé, she didn't even get worked up about that pitch that she bowled in there. And you can't. When you're a pitcher, you, you know, you just, you got to forget it. Short memory. And that's, I think, she's only a sophomore. Correct. Walked her. No, that's 3-2. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, I thought I just said 2-2, two, two, but then. But there's a chance we could have <laughs> missed one here. Yeah. All right, what that tells me is the pitcher is she doesn't want to hit. I'm not saying that, but maybe I just did. Swing and a miss. Yes. High there cheese. And that's going to bring us to the bottom of the six with a 1-1 game. And a Cats with a lot of momentum just the way they're playing tonight. You're seven and a half to was four. I'm sorry. It's, a, it's been a, 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 you know, it's a tight game. A lot of energy. No and it, and they're hanging with them. And this is, this, is, this is not an easy pitcher to face. Not at all. We'll be back after this short break. Lag hurting your gaming. Is a weak signal stalling your social media posts? 
Are constant updates slowing down your productivity? TUA Light Tube has a solution. Enroll in our mesh router service starting at $9.95 a month. With the ability to cover your home with increased signal strength, you can increase productivity and whole home happiness. Start winning today by calling TUA Light Tube customer service at 455-451. Welcome back here to East Park. Chris Barstead joined by Alan Bean. Licking it off for the Lady Cats, right fielder, Reagan Norman. Reagan Norman is going to lead us into the bottom of the sixth for the Lady Cats. Reagan's hit the ball well tonight. And so we're going to get two, three, four, five, six runs. And she's had a good night over there in right field. Yes, she has. Fly ball to center. Look. And easy can of corn. Yep. You still got to watch it and hope they make a mistake. Yeah. But like you said, it was a can of corn. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm umpiring on Friday and Saturday. Uh, that would have been a totally different adventure. I watched a D1 commit that's going to Indiana that looked like an eight-year-old an eight on a fly ball. Thankfully, we don't have that. No. Well, the score, if we did, the score would be a lot more than 1-1. One, one. Mallory oh, back up there the middle we go. off Buffington's glove. She's she going to get it. She recovers. And yep. Nope, first baseman can't can't come up with it. <laughs> well, yeah, I was referring to yeah, Stone yeah. making it to first. Yeah. So, one out, one on, spinner up. She just could base. not pick that ball up. No, it was low and a little now bit to her right. First baseman Zaylin Spinner. And for whatever reason, pitchers typically. A lot of pitchers have trouble throwing the ball to first. Yeah, it's a used to underhand, and we had one here, Maddie Bar uh, Barnett, that would throw underhand over there. Yep. And my daughter's the same. There nice we go. bunt. Beautiful. Uh oh. And she dropped it. Maddie's going to go to third. No. No. Nope. And gun she got, got two. And I can tell by the expression on Coach Barfield's face, he did not send her. So now, instead of first and third with one out, we have two outs and a runner at second. And we'll go back. Coach B is not happy. No. Two down, coming to the plate. Catcher, Haley Holt. Coming to the umpire with Kylie up. I'm not sure what he's, what he's thinking here. I'm confused. Now that's Lynch. Now Lynch can come in as a, she's a, been a courtesy runner, but she can come in as a pinch runner, as a sub for Zaylin, because Zaylin has she's my daughter's best friend. I love her parents, but her daddy will tell you she's got she's got two speeds, slow and slower. That's what's going to happen here. He's going to he's going to sub in Lynch as a pinch runner and then re-enter Zaylin in the set, top of the seventh. Maggie Lynch to come in and run. And then we're going to have Holt up to bat for the Lady Cats. It's a card. No, she, yeah, she's a sub, but he, I think he's going to re-enter re the starter. And now back to action. Coming to the plate, catcher, Kylie Holt. There we go. Now we've got everything straightened out. Kylie takes it outside. Yeah, I'm just going to assume that he's he's going to re-enter Spinner. He's trying to pick up speed for the for what could be the win. Well, the go-ahead run for sure. And that third baseman, she is not fast. She has a mm -hmm. heck of a glove, but if she's off the bag a little mm -hmm. bit, she is slow getting back to it. Yeah. And the shortstop keep goes to second and is not and left's not coming up to mm -hmm. cover. So. 
Makes total sense mm -hmm. to me. Way out. I'm not really sure what uh, Shelby was questioning on that pitch because that ball was definitely out. But 3-0. Coach out to just talk to his junior pitcher. That was short and sweet to the point. He straight up, I heard him. He <laughs> said, I need three strikes. Yeah. <laughs> and in all honesty, that's all they need. Yeah. To get out of this inning. Yeah. Well, from his perspective, he's saying, hey, you just got three. You got three and on the kid that you struck out three times. Right. All right, come on, Kylie. She takes that one. It's a good pitch. Makes it 3-1. This is the pitch here. You want it as the pitcher, obviously. In That's out. Ball four. See, and honestly, for me, if I were Buffington, I'd wanted that to be a full count because that would have Holt nervous, and she exactly. struck out three on, times. on the kind of night she's had. You know, you hate, from, from Buffington's perspective and the Page perspective, you hate to lose her there because Addie Norman's had a good night at the plate. Yep. You got good speed on first and second. Foul straight back. Now, he's, uh, Buffington probably getting a little tired. She's just, you know, taking a moment. A little composure time. Oh. Mm. Looks to be a little like a drop ball. It looks good to the last second. And you saw her. She started off and then just slowed that back down. Yeah. Just like, I shouldn't have done this. Yeah. There we go. Fly ball, foul. First baseman's got it. Yep, right in front of the dugout. And that'll do that. So now we're going to go to the top of the seventh. 1-1 one, one ball game. And then we'll be back right after this light two sports break. Light two specifically played into our mission when we separated from our parent company and became an employee stock ownership program. Oh, we had to be disconnected from a large network and exist on our own. We needed relatively high speed connectivity, which we got at about a 200% discount uh, with like two. Businesses can get beyond what most businesses uh, in the country can get from like two uh, as far as uh, internet connectivity. Welcome back to East Park. Leading off here in the seventh, third baseman, Katie Hudgens. Hudgens up the bat for the Patriots. She's had an excellent night at third base tonight. Done everything you can, that they've asked of her. Bounces one up there. I'll tell you, from a father of a pitcher, some nights you got that changeup working, but and some nights you just don't. There's nothing you can do about it. And it's not working for Alize tonight. No. Everything else seems to be working uh, for Everything her. else is just fine, like that. that. But that changeup is, yeah, let's not do that. Yeah. That's a tough pitch to, as a batter to, you know, to, to hold off on. It looks good, but it's one of those two. If you, even if you hit it, what are you doing with it? Yep. Hey, it's been yep, strike it's, outside all night. Yep. This is not a secret. <laughs> I know it gets more pronounced in the in the later innings, particularly the last inning of a close game, but it was that way in the first inning. Yep, and it's like I heard the stands over yeah. here, and I'm like, but it's been this way all night. Yeah, this, this should be no surprise. Fouled off to the right. One-two pitch here. I personally, I throw it outside again. 
100%. Hudson's hanging tough. She is. That was not an easy pitch there on a the 1-2 and it's a little bit on the, on the outside half and low. But Hudgens, she's had a good night on the plate. I mean, at, on her base over yeah. there, but she has not had a good night at the plate. Yeah. Inside. That was a little high. Because that one went just above the numbers there. Or, or letters, excuse yeah. me. All right, it's going to bring up 2-2. Two, two. Back with that change up. Making the 3 2. All right, personally, here I've said it two or three times now already. I'm coming back with inside inside fastball. Yep. If she turns on it, she turns on it, but you just slowed her back down and her eyes down with that change up. And she did. Ooh. Oh, but it was just apparently a little too far yeah. in. Hudgens draws a walk. Brings up Buffington. Now come to the plate, the pitcher, Shelby Buffington. Right. Tough situation here. Nobody out running at first and a good stick. She's a butt. There we go. Yeah. That tells you what the coach is thinking. He's playing for that one run and thinks he can, it, it'll stick. And that was a smart play. Yeah, I mean, it's a one run, a one, one, one game. Nothing can self sacrifice. Rather than possibly grounding into a double play or out, pop up, up and get the runner in Cameron scoring position. Fight. That brings up fat fight. Fight <laughs> to the uh, plate. He takes inside. Now he's tightened up that strike zone on the left, on the inside a little bit, and calling a little more balls there. Now. Yeah, that uh, that last pitch, that uh, ball four was uh, that's been called a strike a few times, but oh well. But at least this second pitch was in that same spot, so yeah. Alzay's just gonna have to adjust it. Mm. Gonna get it up low again, two and zero. Oh. Outside. Yep. Nope. Okay. Well, that was yeah. in that spot. <laughs> oh, it was off the plate, but it's a strike. It's been a strike for 25, 30 times. Yep. That's to say it's consistent. I always want to call that a ball, uh -huh. but but you, it's it's a strike tonight. No matter who's there, yep. white or black. Oh, nope. goes for the strike. Punt, oh, the third, error. It's away, and that throws way off. Run scores. Now what you had there, Chris, is the third baseman didn't get back in time, wasn't in position. Freshman, never played there before. Uh, gets away from her and then, no, and Addie Norman came up throwing and airmailed one. Yep. Now what's going on? Our discussion here, I'm not sure what they're calling, but Page fans don't like it. Well, that might be a lucky break for the Lady Cats. The coach doesn't like it either. So we're saying a no pitch, which means that plate runner will go back to second.
They may be changing their mind. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, now I'm com thoroughly confused. I think he said something about that she's out, so it might have been she left early. Yeah, that's, that's that's the only thing. And but I would I be a lucky break for the Lady Cats? Uh, two outs. Yeah, no two run. Outs. Runner left early. Thank you, sir. But that's the kind of calls you got to make in a close game like this. I'll tell you, I saw a video of a coach get ejected in the college game the other day. On the runner left early on a home run. Uh, back, can't get to it. And I will tell you, I just heard a parent talking about it. It wouldn't have mattered. She would have had it anyway, but that's not the rule. Nope. Is my count right, Blue? We think we have 2-2. Two, two. At and least we now we know we at least have 2-2 two, yeah. two after that foul. I was just confused because the field umpire once said, he said 14. He hit 1-4. Oh, that was high. Another change up that didn't work. And that's Alizé's number, so I don't know where that would have came into play. Nonetheless, 3-2, two, two outs, runs off the board. Fouled off her foot in the box. She's staying alive. Yeah. Fight is definitely fighting. Yes. And the thing about leaving early, that is an immediate dead ball out. Doesn't matter if the if the batter hits one and hits that, that Jeep over there past the flag. I mean, much like a balk in high school baseball, it's an immediate dead ball. Except for on a balk, they advance. Yes. There we go. That's get a it. Shot in the gap. Raby will not get to it. Nope. And they should probably gonna get it. second. Oh, easily. Airmails the throw, but Spinner's there to back it up. We have a two out double. Fight comes through with a two out double. Fight has not had an excellent night on the plate, but she came through clutch there. Yeah, she may. Uh, she made play. up for it. Left fielder Avery Skiles. Then we're bringing Skiles back in now. Oh. Fouled off a foot. All that matters is that strike one. Yeah, that, and you see that the hitters, that have, if she started out 0-1, I don't have the exact stats, but... They're not the ones that are getting on base. Not particularly. It's a, it's a it's a crucial thing to get. It's when she gets that um, starts off with a ball or two and gets a little behind them. Yeah, then, then she starts forcing it. Yeah. There we go. Swing and a miss there. Two. Right, oh two here. I, you know, usually we'll, we'll go f make them fish here. Try to be competitive, but you may just come back here with straight gas. She's behind. That is the case. Which comes in high. One, two. Two. Oh, rolls up another changeup. It'll be a two-two. Long sport there, Alze. <laughs> well, once again, like I said a couple, few batters ago, you, you've slowed down her bat and her, and her eyes and the eye speed here, so you can come back in here with some fastball in or fastball out, and she does, yeah. and that's that. Well, that's going to take us to the bottom of the seventh for the Lady Cats. For Alan Bean and Chris Barstead, this is going to be a light tube break. Never miss your favorite shows again. For an additional $7 a month, along with your digital television service, 
like to Cloud DVR lets you record up to eight programs at the same time, receive 500 gigabytes of cloud storage, and whole home DVR. Call TUA Customer Service to add light to Cloud DVR to your digital television service today at 455 4515. Folks, white knuckle time. Bottom of the seventh, leading it off with the Lady Cats. Designated player. Right, here we go, Chris. Bottom of the Gattis. bottom of the seventh. Gaddis leading off. And that's kind of a. And that's a good place to be in. Oh, we got Gaddis and Alize and Goad. I'm yeah. not going to complain with that. No, that's, that's exa you know. Coach B had to. Had it to dial up or make his own lineup for the bottom of the seventh in a 1 1 game, this would be it. For sure. Wind blowing out left to right. Picking up a little steam. Inside. And inside and low. Both these pitchers, neither one of them deserve to lose. No, they've had a, both had a great game. Yeah. But we are at East Park, so. Yeah. Ooh. Foul. She reached out for that one. This is 13 and a half innings where these two teams have combined for five runs. They're fairly evenly matched. Anytime you have these two pitchers, you. Round ball back to Shelby. Yep. Throws it over to first. Easy out. One down. Yeah, Gaddis knew that as soon as she saw where it went. She's like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Caitlin grounds out. You know, you as a coach, you want to get on to her. It's like, why didn't you hustle to first at the same time? Not a chance. She knew the outcome. Yeah. Out. Way out. Uh, Buffington is definitely kind of being smart here. She is not letting these power hitters get on get a the, a good bat on the, mm -hmm. these balls. Round ball to third. She's up with it. Two. Yep, two down. And she's making them reach for it. Oh, up. she brought that one inside, I yeah. guess. Going to bring up Maddie Go. See if she can be her hero again. That was Coach B, which is telling her, take your time, pick your pick your swing. Stay off the pitches in your eyes. Takes one on the inside. Good pitch. Maybe the best pitch she sees. Definitely was better than that one. Yes. But just like we were talking with Alize after a change up like that, you, you you've slowed that bat down, so I suspect she'll come back with the sixty mile hour fastball. Yep, like that. Yep. Get her behind it. Let's go, Maddie Gold. You can tell Maddie's a little frustrated with herself. Oh, definitely. Up, oh, held it straight back. Even again. Well, that's going to take us to the top of the eighth. Pretty softball, folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are going to take a short light to sports break, and we'll be back with the top of the eighth right after this.
Welcome back to East Park. They're getting it off for Page, right fielder Olivia Braden. Olivia Braden's leading off for Page. Top of the eighth, so we're into overtime here. Swing and a miss. Another one of those. Here it is. If you can hit it, hit it. And that's. This is definitely, it's been a, even though, you know, it's a 1-1 one -one game, but this has been an exciting game to watch. Yeah, we've had some nice plays and base running blunders. Pulls that one foul. I found me a bucket here to sit on. Oh, yes. I can be like every softball, every travel softball coach. <laughs> <laughs> and every baseball coach. Oh, yeah. Uh, down the line. Out. Yep. Ellie couldn't get to that one. She stays alive, though. Yeah. I really thought she was possibly going to get under it. Uh -huh. I got tired of my bucket. I understand. If you need a chair, you can have this oh, one I'm in. I'm good. And high Another again. high. Two and two. Do not want this girl on base. We do not. Nope. She's battling yeah. hard to stay yeah. out there, yeah. though. Although I will say, not in Alizé's defense, I think that one uh, went a little. Um, that ball went a little high. Yeah. Right. Two two again. Ooh. There we go. I'm not gonna argue it. Brayton goes down looking. We go back to the top of the order, step into the plate, second baseman. Carissa fight. We well, have yeah, fight. Up to bat. Oh. That one was way yeah. high and outside. Not sure where we're on pitch count, but we've got to be entering the triple digit territory. All right, again, two and zero. Oh. They toes the rubber. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say it. Um, if you're coming to the plate, swing the bat. Yes. Three one. You can definitely tell Alize is getting a little tired out there. You know, the pace has slowed down. I think she's a big, strong kid, but we're in the eighth inning. I mean, it's a lot of pitches. And like you said, it's over 100 pitches yeah, for her. Yeah, so. yeah, it's, it's a lot of pitches and a good pitch. And not only that, they're all 
as uh, John Smoltz will say, they're all high leverage pitches in a game like this where it's, it's uh, tied, low scoring. I mean, every pitch, the next pitch can be ball game. It's a little different when you've got a 10-run lead. The three two. Got three. <laughs> two out. Fight goes down swinging. Ocho. Now a two down step into the box. Center fielder, Jen Atkinson. We have Atkinson back up now. You know, for a one 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 ball game, it seems like these batters have been up a bunch. A bunch. <laughs> Yeah, fourth fourth appearance. I'm gonna change it. Did it's about a thirty-eight footer. Yeah. It definitely was skipping across the plate. Well, no doubt the change it was definitely in the game plan to keep him off balance because that's twelve thirteen she's thrown at least. There she we go. Ooh. Better check her. She went. Ooh. Do what? She may have caught a break there. I think she did. I think the the visitors are going to be a little excited about that yeah. call. Because I say that was a break. Yeah, that's an attempt. But so be it. 2 0. -oh. Nice pitch on the inside half of the plate. Two one. Get down the line, foul. So two two. Yeah. Got a big pitch here and two 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 out. I've said over and over you don't want to go three two. There we go. Mm. Another change up. Brings up a three two. This almost as surely will be a fastball. The location. to be determined. I would be shocked if it's anything other than gas. Ground ball to go. She's got it up with the throw. There we go. Nice inning. Very. Well, we're going to go into the bottom of the eighth with Tied 1 1. We'll be back with the Lady Cats right after this Light 2 break. Did you know that Tullahoma Utilities Authority has a solar farm right here in Tullahoma? For as little as $4 a month, you can support solar energy production and breathe a little easier knowing you're taking positive action to reduce your carbon footprint. Call 455-4515. Dustin Lynch in one of these innings. Now coming. Now coming to the plate. The Leah Raby coming in to start off the bottom of the eighth. Takes a strike, good pitch. No playing around there by Buffington. No. Not at all. Oh, Got away from her a little bit.
Which is honestly kind of kind of shocking. But I think these both these pitchers are getting a little tired. Yeah. There we go. That's the right field and comes in on one knee, makes the catch. Nice play by the right fielder. But I will say this about Leah. She's been putting the ball there all night. Yep. Raven flies out. Nice grab by Burton. And now coming up by Reagan Norman up the plate. Reagan right. Norman. Solid game herself. She has. Oh. Yep. She oh. Won. Now. Pretty much the same swing as last half inning. That's what I was going to point <laughs> out. <laughs> it was a ball the last time. Yeah. Okay, he held on to that one. One one on Reagan. Inside. Two one. The visitors are becoming restless. Well, they don't want to, you know, that hour and a half drive they're about to go. <laughs> they don't want it to be happen too much later. Round ball second. She's up with it, makes the throw, out. Two down. With Stone up to bat. Reagan grounds out. To the second baseman, that brings to the plate. Second baseman, Mallory Stone. Takes a strike. You just want to say, Mallory, it's been a strike all night. Yep. It's going to continue to be. Much the chagrin of pretty much everyone on the visitor side, for sure. I think that was pushing it a little bit, though. Well, I'll let you know on a little umpire secret. If he started out big, he's not going to get any smaller when in the eighth and ninth innings. No. <laughs> no. Straight back. That ball was probably a little high. Yeah. <laughs> Takes ball too high. Excuse me, ball one. By the ball one. So we have one two count for Mallory Stone. Outside. That was really outside. Yes, yeah, so no question on that. Tell you what, if the senior Mallory here can hit us a little walk off home run, there'll be a party in Kwood subdivision tonight. I'm sure there will be. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Well, after the bottom of the eight, we are still tied one to one. Bringing up uh, the Page Patriots will be batting, and uh, the Lady Cats will be taking the field. So, what, what would you would be advising your players right now when they're getting ready to go out? I mean, you just got to, you know, now you're, you're to the point now where you're just talking about grinding it out and staying with it, staying mentally focused. And any one play can it can hurt you. I understand. You just have to keep grinding on. Well, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be back right after this. Telehoma Utilities Authority Light Tube Fiber Internet offers true gigabit service to our customers. We pride ourselves on speed, but the backbone of that speed is local tech support, unmatched customer service, and professional service technicians. To sign up, call 455-4515. To gain the reassurance of light tube reliability. Four pages, the catcher, Ella Polk. 
Coming to the top of the ninth, we have Ella Polk leading off for the Patriots. With Alize Griffin still on the still on the mound. So definitely the longest outing of her career. Right back up where it came from. Base hit to center oh, field. Baby kicks it. it. She's going to get two out of that. We have a single and an error there. That hurt. But that did. Polk gets herself a hit. Moves on to second. That brings to the plate first baseman, Dolly Blatz. Now we have Miss Dolly up to bat. You, right here, you, you need you need to strike out or a pop up. You cannot let that runner advance. Of course, maybe a smart play by Paige is to bunt. Exactly, just stack the base. Yeah. Corners are in. I mean, Maddie Maddie Goat at short will have to cover third. And there's the bunt attempt right off the end of the bat. That was smart. Oh, yeah, you can get the runner up third. I mean, that gives you a, a chance on a pass ball, a, a medium to deep fly ball. Obviously a hit. Gives you a lot more opportunity. And there's the pass ball. I'm going to send her back. I don't, I don't quite understand. Hey, was, I got hit by pitch. Now the runners at first and second come to the plate. Start okay. Katie Hudgens. So we have the third baseman, Hudgens. Who has seemingly batted nine times. It does seem like she has been up an awful lot. Well, this is a big time jam here. Alizé's got to pitch her way out of it. Not all her doing, but. On your right back. Got to take the, take the out. Moves the runners up to second and third with one out. But at least you have the force play at first. You've got to cut this runner down to third. Oh, one hundred percent. Infield's going to play in. A little conference here. A meeting at the mound. I mean, Again, folks, tough spot the here. Dollars, one out. I mean, you, you bring your infield in to cut the runner. The runner down at home. Don't have any leftovers, so and you might even bring your outfield in a little bit because one run could, you know, it could do it. Yeah, we're having a whole lot of conferencing because mm -hmm. even the page coach is over there with his. Well, what you do here is, I mean, is, is the third base coach, if it's hit really hard and fielded with the infield in, you at the very least hold. Now come to the box. Make them the make the throw to first, then down. judge it. And then Buffington at bat, who not done any damage. She's bunted actually a couple of times, I believe. The fly ball, ball. infield. Maller have that. There we go. That is a huge out, gentlemen. Huge. And that is what do you use your fielders for. Right. Now you can play the infield back. Cleanly by Mallory. Gives you a better opportunity for the, down, the for the out. Because when the infield comes in, that, that increases fight. the chances of a hit. Now you're back normal. Now we have two fights, I believe, on this squad. Okay, Gary's going to, Coach Barfield's going to walk, walk her to set up a force at any bag. And Cameron's going to draw the intentional walk. And coming to the plate, left fielder, Avery Skiles. 
Avery Scott, who's not had the, might be smart, she's not had the best night on the stick tonight. Now, when you intentionally walk the bases loaded, it puts pressure on the pitcher. He does. And she's behind now. 1-0. It does put pressure on the pitcher, but it also gives you the possibility to force an out at home. Oh, anything, anything in the infield should be an out. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch. And she was... She wasn't even in the same time zone as that ball no. on the swing. And pulled her head. But I think that's why they went intentionally walked it because Skiles has had a very poor night batting. I know. Two and one. But we do have an exhausted pitcher, so. Oh. Big pitch here. Ooh. There we go. Oh, nice block by Kylie. Hey, be wall, Kylie. Right, we got two, two, two. I think Scully would say deuces are wild. And Kylie was looking a little bit more like a goalie on that last. Yeah. <laughs> like she should be up there on the ice tonight for the mm -hmm. Predators. Got there her. we go. That was clutch right there. That was big time clutch. It, it, it doesn't get any more. Uh, the pressure cooker doesn't get turned up any more than that inning right there. That was, that was huge. Well, that's going to take us into the bottom of the ninth. Uh, Mr. Chester, who we have leading off for us, or do you have a clue yet? And he's adding stuff up. Your summer and a half four paid no runs on ahead in a lead. Three stranded. You up the Lady Cats. We're looking for Spinner, Holt, and Norman. So that's going to bring Kaylin Spinner up to lead off the Cats after this Lied to Sports break. Alan, coming to the uh, plate, we have Kaylin Spinner. Zaylin Spinner. Zaylin Spinner. I don't want, I don't want our grandparents or parents to, uh, you know. You are correct. To hunt you down. Yeah, you are correct. <laughs> Calling too many sports, yeah. and there's several Kaylins out there. So Zaylin Spinner. Oh, we're definitely in the age of Caitlins and Kaylins. Spinner on the first pitch. Swings and misses. Healthy cut. That was a nice cut. She traditionally does not swing at the first pitch. Takes that one way out. That one, you know if they're calling a ball on that, <laughs> it was way out there. Yeah. <laughs> it means you would have to step clear across the plate in order to even touch it. With the bat extended. Oh, when somebody has said something ugly to the umpire or something, he used it. He addressed him with his uh, facial expression. One, two. And Swing and a miss. We can bring up out one for the Lady Cats. And there's the leadoff hitter, Kylie Holt. We have one down. Come on the plate, the catcher, Kylie Holt. Now, Ms. Holt. Made it on base our last time. Can definitely be a catalyst to an inning, even with one out. She gets on, she's a threat. Threat to steal. Doesn't take one to the fence to score from first. But first things first, you got to put the bat on the ball. Oh, 
Especially when this is the side he likes to call a little bit tighter. Yeah. Of course, being a catcher, you would think, but she hasn't had a left-handed hitter tonight. So. Oh. Uh, you got to take, you got to. Uh, yeah, you got it. So that's two up, yeah. two down. With two down, coming to the plate, left fielder, Addie Norman. Addie Norman. He's definitely got the enough pop in her bat to put one out, but unfortunately for her, the wind has now died to nothing. Fly ball to right, it's going to drop. Hey, a base hit. Yeah. Two out single for Addie Norman. Brings up Caitlin Geddes. Addie gets herself a Texas League single. I don't do the most, but I do a lot. And that's with Geddes coming up to the plate. Geddes doesn't need any Caitlin wind to put Gattis. one out. I feel like pot. She does not. She also doesn't need wind to put one at the fence. Nope. Well, that's, that's all it'll take here. Way out. Although I think the last time she uh, bunted, or at least it well, it's ended up, a, yeah, behaved well, like a yes. bus. Norman takes off, still got second easily. Third stolen base for Addie Norman. All right, there it is, Miss Gaddis. 2 0 count. Hi, three and oh. Right down the middle. All right, now you go back to work here as a hitter. Three one. Keep your aggression. Line drive to go. center. She's got it. Norman's going to score easily. Ball game. There we go. And that's your Caitlin ball game. Gaddis with a walk-off single to score Addie Norman. What a game. Their final score. And that that's just it's that, This has been a beautiful night of softball. Yes, this has been a great ball game by both teams. Well, we have um who is it tomorrow night? Columbia, whether it's going to be at 5.30 or 6, the original time, or 2 in the afternoon, that is to be determined. So keep an eye out on Facebook at Teach Us Wildcat Softball tomorrow night to see when they'll be taking the mound, and then we'll have another live broadcast next Mon Monday night. THS Baseball when Paige on the boys' side comes to town. So maybe we'll return the uh, return the same favor to them. Let's hope so. Well, for Chris Barstead and Alan Bean, it's been a pleasure. It's been a great evening. Have a good night. This is Light Two Sports Network.